we got we're gonna skip over our live match right now. Um, one of the players has been delayed a little bit. Hopefully they'll get in before the end of the cast. And we're gonna jump over to Ducket and Howie. And uh <laughs> Ducket and Howie of Iron Division. Yep, that is correct. That's that's exactly what I was looking up. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yep. All right. Let me uh, let me get some picks and bands going here real quick. All right. Let's see. What did they do? All right. The first band. Oh. You know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just, just give me a second here. Uh, Tobo. The, given Cletus's reaction of awe, what do you think was banned? <laughs> I was real tempted to say courtyard, but it's obviously not courtyard. I'm gonna guess aquarium. You got it. It's aquarium. <laughs> Damn it! Somebody's no. Fun. Somebody here is no fun. <laughs> somebody here is no fun. Okay, like I like to guess because if Cletos is happy or Cletos is sad about a pick or a ban, that narrows it down to two or three. Yeah, usually. You're right. It could have. Okay. Very well, could have been courtyard, but yeah, that was an aquarium. Uh, That's true. Sadness. Anyway, no uh, the next band. Courtyard. Yeah. Well, uh, there are a few, but, you know, we don't, I, I, we don't Kletos, speak of them. Yeah, Kletos remembers them. Kletos remembers all of you who banned yeah. Courtyard, <laughs> by the way. He's got your names written down. He chants them to himself at night like yeah. Arya Stark. Trust me. Yeah. I don't I don't know who that is, but anyway. <laughs> I, I am banned. Is that, is that a, uh, related let's to Tony just say, Stark? This related let, to Tony Stark? Yeah, one of the lesser Starks. Uh, no, uh, let's just say related to Iron in its own way. All so right. it's on topic. All right, good. All right, anyway, the next band, Library. You know, also I'm, related to making everybody angry. Yep, yep that's I'm a true fan, I'm a, I'm a fan of Library, but, uh, okay. you know, I don't mind if some people ban it. I, no, he, I'm, that doesn't get an awe from you. No, it's <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a very understandable ban. It's, you know, it's one of those maps not everybody has skills against. Okay, everyone keeping track of what bands make Kletos mad or not. You don't want to get on his bad side. All right, all right. <laughs> yep, you do not. All right, anyway, the first pick. Unless you're Opie. Yep, <laughs> apparently, yeah. The first pick, uh, Terrace. Oh, uh, so so here's what I'm curious about. I'm not actually curious about the pick. I'm curious about Kletos' reaction to Terrace. I mean, it's what not do you a think map I like very much to play. Mm. I mean, it's just not one I have much experience with. Do you like casting it, though? It's fine. It's fine. It's, I mean, okay. I mean, I mean, Checker showed us how amazing it can be. That's true. That's true. I don't think we're going to get any Checker-like games on Terrace <laughs> no. tonight, but I hope we do. But for those who don't know, that's basically like a two hard tell fingerprint game on yeah. Terrace, which oh. worked, by the way. And, and, he, uh. and it was because he had uh, deselected basically all the soft tell. Uh, yeah. yeah, he wasn't paying attention to mission selection, yeah. and he was stuck with it, and then he won anyway. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's uh, yeah. when you're the developer of the game. I guess this is the kind of yeah. thing that works. All right, that, anyway. that is that is the most checker thing I have ever heard. All right, the next uh, the next pick, the next doubled map pub. You don't see that doubled very often. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how much we're gonna have to say about that, but I guess we're gonna find yeah. out. Yeah, pub being my generally my standard ban if I don't have anything else uh, worth banning. Yep, teetotaler. I'm, I'm, Kletos. I am. We're I'm gonna actually... have a lot of three five to cast this set. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we're gonna have a five of eight with Modern. Whiplash. That is. Yeah. That's what we what? call venue whiplash. Yep. And then we'll have time to power up. Then Howie, <laughs> being uh, an awesome person, uh, fix courtyard. <laughs> An awesome person who loses? I'm not really hey! sure how that works. I don't know. I don't know, but they picked Courtyard. We actually haven't figured out whether or not you admire or detest people who pick Courtyard first. Oh, it's I, not really I, clear. Oh I, oh, I definitely admire them, even though they lose okay. Courtyard Chicken. It's just, you know. Got it. Got it. So it's good to lose Courtyard Chicken. Not if you're the person losing, but for everyone else, it's good. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. Anyway. I'm, start, I'm starting to figure out. Yes. I'm starting to figure out Kletos. I'm starting to figure him out. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. I mean, yeah. So, in a way, losing courtyard chicken's a good thing. Got it. Got it. I'm going to stay on your good side. I want to know yep. all this. Yep. All right. Anyway, uh, let's get this game going here. Oh, wait. That's the last game. 
Let me, uh... <laughs> I have not. The Let's... most professional cast. Yeah. No, I would. I would just say, just. I mean, we did. Reca- we did cast the gallery game twice. Yeah, I want to do it again. Catch one the more... Mask <laughs> one, one more. One more time. Let's watch Ryu snipe yep. again. Oh yep. All right. Anyway, We're fun. Uh, We're fun now again. I am on the correct game. Let me. Uh... All right. We got. We Let got me make it so that they can t- see it. There we go. We got some terrace to open things up. Howie on the spy, Duckin on the sniper. No swap, no purloin. In three, two, one, playing it. And uh, swap and purloin. Yeah, I swap. Turning off swap is ridiculously standard. I think you're totally overthinking it if you leave swap on most of the time. Although we did see it work once, uh, bizarrely enough. Purloin is the decision. It's usually purloin, inspects or fingerprint. AIs don't complete inspects very often on this venue. Um, Purloin, it's gonna narrow it down dramatically, but you can get it to a 50-50 sometimes with a really good one, and it gives you a little more agency, whereas with inspects and fingerprint, you're at the mercy of the AI, at least mostly. So, uh, Purloin is more about agency in the framing, fingerprint and inspects is more about playing the numbers and hoping to get a little bit lucky. In conversation with the double agent to open things up, only one person outside of conversation here. It's a pretty good time to do it. I, th- I don't think you're going to get a better one. And they're in now. There so it is. We found the better one. And we left. What? what? How- Why? What? Howie. No, that's not how you do this. And you're not even leaving to get a good flirt. This is really interesting. It's almost, I wonder if there's a game plan here and they specifically are not looking to complete and they don't want to be one of those real BBers. Mm-hmm. I don't understand this at all. I feel like there may be. I- Here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that Howie made up their minds to flirt and then didn't look around the party to sort of update those plans when they saw what was unfolding, because that was a perfect banana bread. If yeah. you're not going to take it there, when are you going to take it? Yeah, that, that that would be sad if that's what happened. Grabbing a briefcase, returning a briefcase, grabbing a fingerprint from the briefcase, doing all the usual spy things. All the briefcase stuff. And yeah, I mentioned earlier that it's all about balancing your planning with on-the-fly opportunism. And I think that might be an example of it. You make up your mind to get a flirt, but then when you're presented with that good banana bread and a good flirt isn't even available, we only got 25%, at that point, you have to mix it up and take what the party's giving you because the party was giving you a banana bread and it was not giving you a good flirt. We, went, we just went to the bar for an innocent drink cake. What is happening in this game? It's Sexy really feel- Target is stealing our second fingerprint. I mean, I might eat my words here of how he has a specific kind of game plan because that's kind of what it feels like. That's a that's a flirt. That's a flirt before statue pickup and before sip. You could flirt what? while sipping there. That is not how you want to do that. Uh, and we're only at fifty nine percent off of two whites. I mean, at least it and, took. Yeah. yeah, it did take. There's there's that at least, but it would have taken if we sipped too. Yeah, the pre statue flirt is actually saved by the drink. That makes it way less suspicious, and you don't have to risk the st leaving. The drink is a godsend there, um, but you don't use it. This is a very very strange game. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. But we this have partial okay, progress here. Pacing again. That's a failed bug, and that's a shot. I. I Track. I'm so confused. I'm so I, confused. I don't know. I don't know what the plan was. I don't know what the plan was. I, I have a theory. I want to. I want to test it real quick. I want to look here. Nope, I'm totally wrong. I'm totally wrong about my theory. My theory was going to be that they were maybe, I couldn't remember who had picked Terrace, for example. And I was wondering, maybe this is someone who's not familiar with Terrace. They're a little thrown. It's very strange, right? And I check and know how he has played Terrace 24 times this season. So uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's just put that behind us. Yeah. Real also, quick. also they, they didn't fingerprint that briefcase. Yeah, um, and that, that's, here's another thing, Here, here's another thing about that. Uh, Howie has not completed fingerprint once this season. Oh my god. I mean, it got so close, though. What? I don't, what's I don't get it. Happening? I don't Jack, know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, okay. we, I, I have to imagine we're missing something. Uh... I, I this is, it's fine. This is fine. Yeah. Duck it. Duckett is on the spy side. He will make things better. Howie on the sniper. 
In three, two, one, playing it. Look, Terrace makes you do crazy things. That's 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 all I have to say, really. So it would seem. Ah. All right, 51% on the flirt to open up the game at bar. Swap is off and inspect is off. So a little bit more expected now. Yeah, and this is what I mentioned, more agency. AI can still complete fingerprint, can't complete inspect. That's not going to be a, vet, a mission. It also means you can lose heat by going to statues because there's no reason other than fingerprints to go there, too. So there's yeah. an option there, too. There's a lot of ways to leverage this. And if you get a really good purloin, maybe you can force the sniper into a difficult 50-50 decision. That's the hope. Stepping in for the second flirt. Do we hit the two flirt with like two and a half minutes remaining? No. It's 85%. If we did hit the two flirt and delegated right afterwards and BB'd all at once, we finish with two minutes left on the clock. I don't care how on it you are. That's a tough shot to take. Yeah, but we is. don't. In conversation with the double agent still couple of people outside of conversation. We're waiting for Smallman in particular to get chatty. Alright, now seems like a pretty good time for it. Duckett agrees, ignores the action test, contact comes off, gets high lit for white reel. Okay, Wodar. There's the flirt getting finished up, too, so that's the second completion. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. We got a lot of time to pick our spot. We can go back to bar. We can try to bug. We can do a lot of different things. We got options. But, but all of not them are basically hard tells. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think you're going to be able to rush fingerprint here, although you could go to bar right now. You could get a fingerprint and have the delegate and then see what your options are like after that, but it's going to be a difficult because General gets there first. That could be good if we can hit this. Fingers crossed for Duckett. Captain Finger Guns over there. Yep, and Ambassador has put the briefcase down. If we hit this difficult, we have an option right over there. Just going to burn it. Oh, he just purloined! He just took it! He just took the list! How he's staring right at the ambassador! Test. He didn't hit the fingerprint, but it doesn't matter because he won the game! Duck it with the victory sip as the mission win countdown ends. It's just timing. When the purloin happens, Howie is looking at the ambassador. At that moment, they are more concerned about the bug than the purloin. That's all it took. Just a few extra seconds blocking that bar. And like I said, sipping to victory, that's a big win for Duckett. Do you think it that is. bar placement was uh, intentional to be in front of the bottles? I think it might, yeah. I think it might. <laughs> Man, it is so rare that people direct Purloin from bar. Yeah. I love that play. That yeah. was glorious. Can we take a look at that? Yeah, let's take a look at that replay. Take a look at it from the snipe from the yeah from the sniper side. So when you stand in that corner like that, you put them in a more difficult position because they don't want to go all the way to the right. So what you want to do on Terrace, and by want to, I don't mean it's necessarily the smartest thing. I mean, it feels the most natural. You want to take the starting position of the sniper, that two thirds to the left kind of thing, because you have a higher angle. So the sniper, the sniper angle is on a track that doesn't just go left and right. It also goes up and down. To the left, it's up higher. To the right, it's down lower. So when you go about two-thirds to the left, you get a good angle on potential bugs you can look down at the party. If you go to the far right, you're down at ground level like you are on kind of veranda and ballroom, which feels much worse for catching bugs and just having a general lay of the land. But that's kind of where you have to go when you're trying to catch some of those late, late purloins with one exception. You can watch Toby and not look for the list. Toby's reaction can tell you, and that's where an experience thing comes in. I think if this is someone maybe in silver or above, they're going to be watching Toby, and they're going to notice the purloin's gone. They're not going to need to see the actual list itself, which is being body blocked by the spy, because the only other way you're going to see it is by going all the way to the right, potentially. And as I mentioned, snipers just don't want to do that. Yep, and I guess the thing to mention is that uh, you can tell when uh, the list is taken because Toby uh, stops scooping it up. Exactly right. Yeah. So that's what happens, right? So the list yeah. vanishes. We all know that. But Toby picks the list up if it doesn't vanish. So you can watch Toby yeah. instead. It's a little tip for people who are just kind of coming up or even some of the moderately experienced ones. It's a real lifesaver in moments like this. 
And now Duckett is up two to nothing off the early portions of the match. Let's see if Howie can make a little bit more sense on the spy side in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, maybe how he's thinking that first game doesn't count, right? Yeah, AI dumps him at statues. Inspect is off, swap is off. This is fine. Oh, hello, seduction target. Isn't that lucky? White test for 34%, thank you very much. This is fine, also doubles as the pickup line. Yeah, seduction target comes right up, pay him a little compliment, and you get a third of the flirt done right there by accident. Yeah, very nice. AI drops us off at statues, and we get a third of a flirt done just by going along with it. Picking up a delegate from the bar. We'll see if we use this, but there's it's also quite likely we just let it sit. Yeah, every time you decide to take a drink, you might as well. Yeah, and you can see bar highlights coming out from Duckett. relatively slow start after the drink take and the statue visit, but not a whole lot going on for Howie right now. Very, very sparse conversations. It's a slow start for the spy, but it's a busy start for the bar and the party in general, which is maybe oh, just man. as important. He delegated yeah. to Smallman just now. Yeah, and broke an animation to do it, but there's so much bar activity, and there were only the two of them in conversation, and they weren't next to each other, that it'll be interesting to see whether or not Duckett gets this. There has been a bar rush, and look, by the way, the bar highlights stopped at a certain point, too. That's strange. That is strange. Time expires, though. Doesn't wind up coming off. Too many people at bar. Tried to chase a seduction target to a window when he'd been hanging out there for a while already. Gets noped on, and now back into conversation with the double agent. Look how busy this conversation is! The contact comes off. Let's off three lowlights, which is not bad, and literally everyone else was piled into the same conversation. It's not bad, but it's not good. But as I mentioned about that gallery game, just as important as how many people could have done a real one. And that number, thankfully, is pretty high. It's everyone who's not low lit. Yeah, it's literally everybody. So you'll take that, actually. You'll trade the low lights. The, maybe you say one more low light than normal. You can get a perfect one, too, if you're, not, if you're careful about it. But you'll take the three low lights in exchange for everybody left could have done a real. I'm grabbing another delegate. Take two, maybe? Take, take two. We'll see. Still need another flirt. We are in range for it. I thought we were in range for it, but no, it's 98%. You were very nearly right, but that 2% could come back to haunt us. We saw it in the previous match. We might be about to see it here, especially with the seduction target picking up a briefcase. Oh, Daz, bad, sad, bad. 20 seconds left on the clock. That could... That could kill it. That could be the end of things. The end of days. Perloin comes off. Seduce comes off. This is going to be a shot, and it's going to be a shot on the frame target for the uh, Perloin. I'm sorry, yep. I can't words today. Yeah, it's just fine. So one of the upsides of all the people who cut it in the real banana bread means that anyone who's not a lowlight, if you're paying attention to that spy, you can delegate to anyone, and they could be done in the sniper's mind. Yeah. And they finished the flirt just in time. The seduction target was so friendly at the beginning and then so unfriendly the whole rest of the time <laughs> that we have to finish flirt at Windows at the very end. And once again, it's the victory sip, this time at Windows instead of at Bar. And Howie answers back with a much, much, much more conventional Terrace game than their first one. Absolutely. And now Duckett is back on the spy side of things. Howie on the sniper looking to maybe tie this up at two. See if you can make it happen in three, two, one, playing it. And there's really not too much to say there. You either catch that delegate perfectly, you see the talk, or you don't. And if you don't, you're just going to face a tough choice. Oh, that 
bug didn't take somehow. It looked so good, but walked just a little bit too far, I guess. So the problem is, around that conversation, if you're going to bar, you don't want to actually hug the outside of it. The AI wouldn't. So the spy is trying to do two things. They're trying to stay close enough to bug, but not so close that the path doesn't make sense when they turn to bar afterwards. If they were committed to turning into the second conversation, they could hug it more naturally, closely, and the bug probably takes. You're trying to thread that needle, and uh, threading needles doesn't leave you a lot of margin. No, it does not. 34% off the first flirt, and man, not hitting that bug is a little bit painful, because if he had right-clicked a split second earlier, that would have been glorious. Yeah. Delegating to the seduction target, we'll see if he gets there in time. There's a bit of a pile-up. Uh, I'm trying to get you shot, not the world's best pickup line, but they don't know that. <laughs> Good. So here's the real question, though, with that bug. What's it doing to the spy psychologically? Do they feel like a oh. suspect or not? Oh, the purloin does actually come off. And now we're in conversation with the double agent with a lot of people in chat. But Salmon as well. isn't in. Salmon needs to be in. He's in now. Now he's in. Gotta do it. Here it goes. Salmon's talking as well, so are Perfect. we, but... Only one low light, and I don't think we're even a suspect for the purloin here. This is think... looking very good. Minute and 40 seconds left to play, and all we need is two more flirts. It's risky to try to delegate near the end of the timer, but the upside is sometimes it's just long enough that they forget you were there and they think you couldn't have done it. That might be the case here. Salmon looks like, you know, public enemy number one here, absolutely. And now we're just going to try to timer flirt for the win. I think Ducket is going to be able to answer that spy win with one of their own here. Flirt the second is yet another white test. Brings us up to 68%, so we're going to have to be snuggly, but it shouldn't matter. Yeah, we're in really good shape here. It doesn't look like we're even a suspect here. And I'm really impressed that Ducket did not get shy after the failed bug. Sometimes that's what happens. You miss a bug, and not only do you not have the mission progress, but you're worried it was caught anyway and you don't do anything. In this case, Ducket just proceeds with Plan B, and Plan B should have been Plan A because it's working great. Under a minute now to play. Here's the flirt. Shot goes off on Smallman. And Ducket maintains the lead with a beautiful showing on Spy, except she just. missed Bug, which was just unfortunate. It was unfortunate, but it was a tough bug, and it would have been a really good one if it taken. It's an understandable mistake, and just getting that purloin in under the wire and making sure that you BB at the right time with the person who you delegated to, that's just how you do that. That's how you maximize your chances on Terrace. The sniper might shoot you anyway, and if you do, you just tip your cap. But in this case, maximizes those chances, takes the win, and is up 3-1. to one. Duck it at this point has found himself in a pretty darn good position. This is exactly where you want to be at the start of a set. Howie has a bit of ground to make up and is going to have to start doing that. And the Irene Adler, the name of our pub starting off on the spy side of things duck it on the sniper in three two one playing it <laughs> opening things up with a quick flirt with the seduction target yeah, pub on the surface looks like a similar venue to Terrace like we just saw. It's a 3-5 variant. There's a bar purloin instead of a tray purloin. A lot of soft tail finishes possible. The big difference is that AIs complete inspects here a lot and very, very rarely on Terrace because it only takes one statue visit. So it's way easier to potentially frame someone. And frankly, just anecdotally, it feels like fingerprint gets done more too. Yep, no swap, no purloin is the current situation. The lay of the land here on Pub is how he steps in for the next flirt. Yeah, and almost nobody's turning inspect off on this one. Purloin fingerprint is the standard mission choice. And the dynamics there are actually really similar to the ones I mentioned on Terrace, though. Uh, AIs are not normally going to complete fingerprint, but they can. Purloin, if you want to do it, is suspicious, but can give you a good 50-50 sometimes does give you options to rush late to in a way that fingerprint doesn't. So if your game does fall apart, maybe you can just go and direct Perloin and hope for the best. 
Two minutes and ten on the clock as we wheel our way inside, being watched a little bit too closely to be able to take that bug, going for it after we land. He saw it. He but saw not it. only does it not take, it gets caught. A good bug while approaching might have been caught, might have not, but it would have been very hard to see. But doing it afterwards like that at the end, it was just way, way too visible for Ducket. Yeah. And again, one of the virtues here is that AI are going to finish. So I would say that a bug has to be particularly good here on pub early in the game to want to take it. Obviously, if you get away with the bug clean, it's basically just a win, right? Because no one's going to shoot you for just inspect and flirt, or no one's going to shoot you for just flirt and banana bread, right? It's the combination of the things there. So the bug is a win if you get it, but people are going to finish potentially. So yeah. the threshold for do I take an aggressive bug has to be that much higher because this is a venue where AIs are probably going to get shot a lot in a normal game. And that doesn't mean you can't bug. It just means that you need to wait until the last minute of the game because very often it won't even reach that point because an AI will finish and a sniper will shoot. Yeah, just an unfortunate decision going for that bug. It was not necessary at all, especially with that much time left to play. Now Duckett is up four to one and Howie needs to make some magic happen from the sniper side of things. Duckett on the spy in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, again, I know it's easier to say we're not in the heat of the moment, but the thre you need to have a general sense of the kind of game you're playing and the threshold for whether or not an aggressive play makes sense. Maybe you rush a time of chaos bug on ballroom and it's the whole game, or maybe on high rise or whatever, but in this scenario, the threshold for what constitutes a worthwhile aggressive bug has to be higher than in other places. Oh, he, he was, you know, that was a bug that was not something I liked, but it looks like it worked. I mean, as I was saying it, right, it's so crazily aggressive and so counterintuitive that it might not have even been looked at. I don't know if I'd like it as a percentage play, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work this time. Duckett made a beautiful little move as well at the start of the game that unfortunately didn't work out, going for a flirt through the windows opportunistically, but again, didn't quite take. Does get in conversation with him afterwards, though, so was able to pick up 34% there, but man, oh man, that bug. Yeah, and based on the highlighting and lowlighting, it really doesn't seem like they're caught for it. And now we're going to see exactly what I said, which is if you get away with the bug and you play a clean game, you just win. And uh, that's what Duckett's going to try to do. And if they don't make a significant error, it should result in a mission win. In conversation with the double agent here, white test on the contact. And the underbred. It looked like we got a zoom in on the ambassador's arrow for a second there, but the contact comes off, only lets off a single low light. We were checking the ambassador for dandruff, it kind of looked like. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, makes as much sense as anything. It might have just been an accidental wheel scroll, but we already know it's not going to matter. I think that might have been a, a double talk there or something. I'm not sure. I saw it at the corner of my eye, but it really doesn't matter at this point. We're not a big enough suspect relative to what's going on. We just need to two flirt. There are 90 seconds, though. If we don't get the second flirt soon and if the ST is really uncooperative, this game could fall apart still. Yeah, there's no reason to take too much time here. Second target goes inside and Duckett is not willing to follow, but he gets shunted back out again. And this is a situation we can chase in. Yep, but look at this. They're going all the way over there. If they leave at the wrong time, if they don't get this next flirt in, things are about to get really interesting. Well, he didn't go too far, luckily. Flirt goes off. It's 68%. One minute to play. This was plenty of time. We can timer flirt, and the nice thing is it's a flirt we're going for and not a contact. So a double agent can leave conversation and never come back in with 30 or 40 seconds left. That'll happen semi-regularly. The seduction target, though, if they go anywhere, any pad, even a statue pad, if you want to force your way in there, you can still get it done. So we're in pretty good shape here, even if they do bail at the worst possible time. 35 seconds left to play, which means... About 10 seconds left now until the seduction target is seducible once more. We are into the beep beeps. There's the cooldown. There's the flirt. There's the shot. Wow. And Howie. What is going on with this shot here? What is it? There's no way they have that kind of mission count, right? There's no way they were able to suspect the bug 
and just count all this, right? And just count flirts? No way. I don't know how he was able to pull that off, but I'm impressed by let's it. Look. We got to look a little bit. Okay, so let's look at this. They go, okay, let's go. I'm going to go back through the beginning of this here. We might as well. Duckett starts off at Windows. They flirt. Um, they try to flirt with Taff, but fail. So right off the bat, unless they have a great sense of whether or not that first flirt was viable, then their their count can't be right. So right, right off the bat, or that actually doesn't make sense. they just didn't notice the first flirt. Right. Yeah, it could be something like that, right? They didn't know it was possible. So they see the flirt there right after the bug. It's a little bit obvious as far as flirt goes. We're taking a spot right between two people and the Amba. We hang out for a little while. Could not have two, could not have done a second flirt there. Could not have been done. Um, again, part of the question here, here is, are we going to credit greens or whites, right? And let me see. Taft is moving around. Boy, were they never? Yeah. If they were actually 90% sure of that bug and they missed the first flirt, that might actually explain it. Yeah. They'd, and they, they would just be saying, I'm not willing to credit the two flirt. The thing is, if you're that sure that you're willing to shoot for the talks, normally you would shoot even before then just on the off chance of the action test. The ambassador does walk by the twin right before this happens. And then there's a talk right afterwards. I wonder if it's just timing, though. God, I, I, can't, I can't remember the last time I've wanted to ask the, the sniper the this the badly the <laughs> what they were thinking because there are only a handful of things that make any sense to me there. I wonder if it's really something as simple, and this would be impressive in its own right. I wonder if it's just something as simple as I'm behind this game, something doesn't make sense, I'm just going to look for someone kind of moving around and talking late in the game. It's under 30 seconds, and they're talking, and that's enough for me. It might be a desperate, desperate Hail Mary shot that happens to be right. I don't know. Either way, no matter how that went down, it was a very good shot from Howie. And now he's on the spy side of pub looking to tie this thing up at three. Duck it on the sniper looking to maintain the lead in three, two, one, playing it. Lots of bar activity at the start here, all on the one side. Yeah, and that's a chance to cover for something, even something small. Uh, I would say a fingerprint, except fingerprint is turned off. It's just going to be an instant purloin, and we're going to hope that Duck wow. doesn't even think to look. We're going to hope they don't even think to look, and they haven't yet. Why would they? But once they notice it, they're going to have it narrowed down to just a few people at most, I think. It's still behind the pillar. It'll just be two, though. No print, uh, no swap is the situation, but the there was Howie and Teal, and the other two were both the SDAs. I think at this point, if you want this to work, you have to know that was Teal with you. You actually got lucky that the fade was not seen at all, and the list area was kind of covered by the pillar, so it kind of looks like Teal is just as likely, from the sniper's perspective right now, as... Uh, as Howie, although Howie's the one who's getting the highlight. Hmm. I will be very interested to see how this plays out because this, the entire rest of this game rests on what is going through the sniper's head because of that flirt, because of that uh, purloin, sorry. Heckin' three of five maps, man. Yeah, Can't pretty cast wide. Them. Yep. This is uh this is first terrace game Howie, a lot more than second terrace game Howie right now. In conversation with the double agent and Seek, who came to the bar a little bit later, picks up a flirt for thirty percent. Where's Teal right? Teal's at Teal's in the statue actually. But no, the... he's taking the contact here. No, so big gets error. Out. Is Duckett not gonna shoot? Teal gets knocked out and there's no shot yet. And Duckett is not I guess they're not assuming flirt is done yet. I guess that's kinda reasonable if they've been watching Sam and that closely. I'm a little surprised at their confidence it wasn't Teal because they really weren't looking. Both were behind the pillar. I don't think Duckett could possibly be sure up until of course that banana bread and how he's not even gonna try to finish flirt. No, it's just he's just going right into the statue, taking an inspect. The shot comes off. 
what happened in that game? I think it's just impulsiveness. That's all that I can make sense of here. I think it's just impulsiveness and then not maximizing your chances. At minimum there, it has to be the person next to you at bar is kept yeah. in as an option. I don't think that's going to work anyway, but that's the bare minimum you have to do. I mean, you you think that Howie would have uh, been better off if he had gulped that drink right away? Yes. Yeah, I think you would have been better off with the gulp. I think you would have been better off going for the flirts instead yeah. of the statues. But here's the thing that really freaks me out. Not shot for the banana bread when it knocked out Teal as well. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Are you so that? I, I, I've been suspecting for a little while that maybe Duckett wasn't on to Teal because she never got a highlight for the bar visit. Seek did, even though he came in after the fact, but Teal never did. Yeah, maybe was actually not confident enough, but I'm just surprised still. I know that at that point you might actually be pretty confident Flirt's not done, but boy, you have to be really confident. You have to be really confident. There wasn't even a quick window flirt or anything like that. Otherwise, things get really dicey. The fact that the statue was the shot prompt is genuinely surprising. That's a, that's a moderately confusing game on both sides of the rifle. Yeah, but either way, it's Duckett who comes out on top. 4-2 to two is the current scoreline, and Duckett is in the spy side once more. Howie on the sniper in 3-2-1 playing it. White test time ad to open the game and extra 45 seconds to play with. No swap and no fingerprint in this case, meaning we're giving more time for the AI to go to statues and we have Purloin available as an escape plan. 47 on the first flirt. Yeah, so not as many ways for AI to complete, but I'm not sure AI has actually completed fingerprint in any of these 3-5 games so far, so it's an understandable choice. Early contact. It's not a great one. Oh, sorry, I thought that just says joint conversation. I thought it said started the action test. Did I mention I'm tired today? <laughs> Well, I'm going to have done about seven and a half hours casting this weekend by the time we're done with this one. So uh, Yeah, uh, I know. You're a madman. I'm, I'm just as crazy. Um, so uh, you can't be tired is what I'm saying. You need to be propping me up right now. Like Weekend at Bernie style, I'm talking about. Uh, I, sh I shall try. You can do it. I believe in you. Three minutes left to play. Seduction target has come back out of the bar, so we might be able to get another flirt there. Although it's not going to be too flirt range. Nope, just leaving him be. Okay, that's fine. Not gonna chase. Still got time. Duckett has shown, you know, decent Ooh. mission progress. Has managed to get the flirt done. That's an unusual... Di oh, he didn't, didn't even try for the flirt there. I'm so confused is what's happening in this game. He's using that time ad to be sure, but... Yeah, well, look, it was possible that he was gonna hang out at Windows a little long. Maybe he adds a, you know, a, a watch check or something like that, as short as that watch check for Smallman is. Uh, but there was a chance it could have taken. It's kind of low risk at that point, too. And if it doesn't take, then he leaves and he goes somewhere else and you see where he lands. So, not a bad move. Not a bad move. Two minutes and ten to play. Still just the one flirt. Under two minutes now. As we hang out at bar and wait for a drink take. <laughs> what do we do with this we take a delegate but not the drink and this can be shockingly effective like let's say everywhere below bronze it seems like maybe even as high as copper sometimes occasionally you get people who are not quite aware of how that works where you look like you're just rejecting a drink but you actually purloin without a drink take sometimes it means they miss who could have purloined because they're looking for drinks specifically as possible purloiners i've seen that be really really effective at these general experience levels and there's a chance it's going to work really really well here i think it's going to work second flirt also green brings up to 98 <laughs> percent One minute to play, no completions yet, but the seduction target here grabs the guest list for us. The shot comes off, the frame is successful.
and duck it goes up five to two. Doesn't look like we were a suspect at all. If we can take a look here in the replay at that at that delegate. I want to show people here what's going on. You can reject a drink. AIs will reject drinks, but it's a little different when you take the purloin, but not the drink. Technically, if the sniper's watching, there's a slight difference that is a hard tell. There is a slight difference that's a hard tell. And it can be so powerful because it looks 99% identical if you don't know to look for it, if you're not familiar with it. A lot of people don't even know it's a thing, even after a couple thousand games sometimes. It doesn't come up very often. It doesn't necessarily make a big difference. So you can either learn the difference as a sniper, or you can do what I do and say, I don't want to pay too much attention to it. So sometimes I'll look for it. But if you don't want to look for it, just assume everyone who went to bar, whether they took a drink or not, then therefore could have delegated, could have a purloin in their back pocket. You have to treat it like that if you're not going to look for the difference. Because in this case, because they don't have a drink, perhaps, maybe the thinking there by Howie is it has to just be a direct from Smallman. Yeah. It that's, certainly yeah. worked out. Boy, and I think that's, uh, is that six to two now? Yeah. Six uh, to is... two. And uh, we're going to go, I mentioned uh, Venue Whiplash earlier, <laughs> Terrace, Pub, Modern. This is like 10 balconies duct taped together. This is huge. <laughs> this is really big. This is really big. And the crazy thing is, too, we've seen how we have a little bit of trouble finishing flirt on smaller venues where you have plenty of time. So for me, the big glowing sign of a question is, is how are we going to be able to make steady mission progress on Flirt in particular on the vastness that is modern? Let's find out how this goes. Howie has a big mountain to climb. Duck it on the sniper with four match points. This is the first of them as Howie steps into the spy side of modern in three, two, one, playing it. And Howie, as I was just saying, can really not afford to be idling at the beginning of Modern. Even with that extra seconds that was added earlier this season, went from 4 to 4.30, it definitely helps. But it doesn't make it the kind of venue where you can waste too much time. You need to be doing something at least moderately productive. Doesn't mean you have to rush. Doesn't mean you have to move around a lot. But you need to look for opportunities to make slow progress here and there that looks innocuous. And in particular, you need to look for mission sites where you can get two things done at once and pounce all over them. That's usually how you manage to get missions done on Modern without looking like you're bouncing around like a pinball. Well, we have Red Book in hand, and we're in an innocent conversation, so this is not necessarily the speediest of starts. Generally speaking, you do not want to be hanging out in innocent conversations. No, generally not. Generally not. And... Sniper win rates on Modern this season um, are slightly higher than last season now. It's up to 65% overall, but it's a little different in Iron. 53%. Snipers, this has been my thing with Modern this whole time, which is that if you are a good sniper, Modern gives you a huge advantage. If you are not quite a good sniper yet, if you're just maybe a pretty good sniper, pretty okay sniper, still figuring it out, then Modern is overwhelming, and it's actually kind of a pretty favored spy map. It's a big litmus test for the sniper, I think. If you are good, it makes you even better. If you're not quite where you need to be, it actually makes you worse. Cheeky little transfer animation at the side windows from the red book, but look at how much time that used. All we have is Realm Red fell in pocket, and there's only 2 minutes and 30 left to play. Now we're picking up our first flirt, and thank goodness it's a close green for 51%, because we are well yeah, behind the curve. Contact comes off, and it's not a bad one, either. That's not Five bad at all. Five lowlights, I think. Yep, and we did hit a green, finally. That actually might be how he's saving grace. Maybe they don't actually need to go to their seduction target more. Maybe they just need to hit more action tests. Maybe. But... Now stepping into green bookcase, looking to finish up this transfer. 
but with a minute and 45 to play, we're low on time. It's a white test. The arm was behind the pillar. The head turn was behind the pillar after the move as well. That was just unfortunate for Duckett. Just like with Veranda, green is the easiest one to get away with. We got rid of the red one first. We did the microfilm at Windows, which was gutsy. And now we've got two and a half of our five missions done. There's 90 seconds left. We are going to get a late highlight for it, though. That's very significant. And I kind of dare say we need to two-flirt this, maybe. Let's find out if we're able to do it. Minute and 15 to play. Here's the flirt. It's a white test, 85%. And now the timer is starting to look very, very menacing. Yeah, and we don't have any inspects, and I think a couple visits would get a shot anyway after that big, big highlight. I think we're suspected for the microfilm. I think even though Howie's playing a pretty decent game this time and making better progress, moving around, I still think Duckett's all over it. The bug doesn't take! Visible. It doesn't take, and it's visible, and there's bullets happening, and Howie is not able to make it happen. Duckett finds the win in the match, 7-2. to two. Yeah, the arm was actually visible. We were so far back, but the arm did go through the ambassador all the way. Normally, you want to get it inside the ambassador there so that they can't see it. In this case, that's actually what made it visible from that particular angle. And I think the real thing, though, is that Duckett was already onto them. And how he started to put it together there in a couple of those spy games, but was just too erratic. And the final score mm -hmm. is 7-2 to two as a result. All right, let's take a quick look. I'm going to see the... The microfilm from the sniper side, just to see how how well hidden it is. Yep, yep, just exactly behind the uh, the window there. Oh my god. I'm looking at the bug here from the sniper's angle, and you can see Howie's hand, like, under the ambassador's yep. arm. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a very strange set we certainly saw, and this has been true when I played Howie a little bit uh, in, uh, in Winter Cup in the group stages. Um, little flashes, you know, of some really strong skill. We saw some really good spy stuff in there, certainly. It was just every other game was like that, and the games yeah. in between them were kind of inexplicable sometimes. Just... I will say that the overly aggressive moves, maybe the direct purloin, that's something I used to do when I was very nervous. If I was up against someone that I thought was a lot better than me, my default was to do the aggressive thing to sort of get the game over with. Yeah. Um, and it took me a long time. This wasn't usually competitively. Sometimes it was just casually. I was so nervous in the beginning because, well, you know how it is, guys. Um, and that was kind of my default position was to just hurry up and do stuff because then at least if I get shot, even getting shot is sort of a, a release of tension, right? It's sort of a relief to get shot in a way. The game is over. So yeah. I worry that Howie may be a little nervous, a little jumpy, doing some inexplicable things in the moment. But as we see, when they settle down and play a slower game, they can put themselves in a pretty good position. But at this point, Duckett's just a little too disciplined, I think, and takes this set pretty easily in the end. Yeah. Duckett honestly just played solid. And that's not necessarily an easy thing to overcome when you're a little bit erratic like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly right. It's going to be about consistency at this point. The best players are just going to find a way to put themselves in almost every game, and they'll take big swings. It's not that good players don't take chances. It's that when they do and the chances connect, first of all, the chances are very intentional. They take the chance knowing it's a chance. They're taking a risk knowing it's a risk where the upside is almost always a win because they're good at everything else, right? Because if they get away with the bug on ballroom, they're going to finish the soft tells, that kind of thing. So it's an intentional risk and they take the risks when it makes sense when there's a lot of reward there otherwise they play the safe game they give themselves options and every now and then the sniper just going to shoot someone for you too so that's really what it comes down to is being a little more intentional about your risks and taking them when the upside is significant enough to be worth the risk